Hey there, so today we have another review. This is the first time trying this one out. This is from Lupulin Brewing in Big Lake, Minnesota. Uh, it's actually recommended. First off, the label's fantastic. Fashion mullet. So apparently it's a DDH version of this. This one, I guess, is just a regular version, but that, like, you guys want to talk about killer can? That's just cool looking. I mean, it, it's a full wrap on the can, and it's just this dude with the hair and the fashion mullet. Like, it's a pretty cool looking label. It's gonna pop. So, um, this is IPA, yeah, I, fashion mullet. Uh, it's IPA, yeah. This is IPA. It is 6.5%. Uh, it is, they say like part East Coast, part West Coast. So it's uh, a Citra and Simcoe, uh, but pretty much, I mean, that's a New England IPA if I've ever seen one. So um, this is recommended actually at the person who works at GB's Bottle Shop, which is like the place I go to for, you know, specialty beer and for cool stuff and cool releases and cool limited stuff that Total Wine obviously doesn't have. And obviously they keep, take care of their beer because almost, Large portion of the beer is actually in the fridge if you're sitting on the warm shelf. So, uh, beer comes in a medium gold color. It actually looks like a little bit like um, Trials Julius, honestly. A uh, nice fluffy white head on that, like full on haze. What's this can? Mm, not that fresh. Can five, six weeks ago? I think I found this in the fridge, though, yeah. Yeah, a little bit stinky, stinky, a little bit, like, it's almost like it's, I mean, it's not literally skunked, but there's that, like, dank, like, kind of cappy thing. Very catty from the Simcoe. Not popping out in the nose uh, uh, glass otherwise. Cheers. Let's see what it tastes. Oh, it's a nice soft. Yeah, um... I mean, I don't know if this sat in the fridge the whole time, but it's like pretty tasty. Like, and honestly, like, reminds me a little bit, bit of the ghost machine that I reviewed. Not the last bottle review, but the two bottles ago. Like, has impressions of a really nice beer, but like, actually reminds me of the Treehouse beer a little bit. Like, it's tasty, got a really nice kind of like, slight creamy mouthfeel, but doesn't get overly sweet. And then like flies off the palate quite nicely, but like, it doesn't have like, a very specific hop character to it. Like, it's like very hollow. Like, like I feel like my, my, my nose is being like closed or something. Like I taste good beer, but like it doesn't have like, like if it had anything to it, like there's no like orange or mango or citrus. It's just very delish, uh, delicious and drinkable New England IPA, but there's a little bit of like dripping orange in there, right? And there's a little bit of like tangerine on the back end, a little bit of this kind of like, like, um, like, like, like ripe mango, like pulpy thing going on. Yeah, it's so weird. It's like towards the mid and back palate versus like generally you're smacked with these flavors up front. Mm. It's tasty, drinkable, doing an IPA. I mean, Honestly, most of them are bad because they're a large portion of them bad because of the, you know, chalkiness and and and, and um, issues with um, hop bur uh, hop bite, hop burn, whatever you want to call it, stringency. Um, this one's just nice, tasty New England IPA. It doesn't really have too much expressive character, but I think it's quite tasty, just in line with a lot of the Treehouse beers I was reviewing. It's about a ninety-three. If the beer tastes as good as Treehouse. At least what they're producing now, well, then that's a compliment. 93 for me. That is loop. That is sorry. Lupulin Brewing Fashion Bullet. Quite nice. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Later.